Hey everyone, this is Andrew with an AWS tutorial series on an introduction to Amazon Lex using Lambda. In this tutorial series, I'll walk you through setting up your first Amazon Lex bot and then having that bot call a Lambda function to return some data back to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we create our Lex bot, we're going to go ahead and create a Lambda function first. So we'll select blank function, we'll click next, we'll give it a name, and we're going to copy and paste some code in here. Um, now this code is very, very simple for Amazon Lex. It could get a little bit more complex, but at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're saying, once we call this uh, Amazon Lambda function, we're going to fulfill the question that was answered to us. We're going to close it, and then we're going to send back a comment that just says Lex testing. Now we'll set up the rest of this Lambda function like normal. Here, when you select the role, you can choose any one of the templates that they have since this function's not going to call those services. It's just going to be called by Lex. So we'll go ahead and we will create this function. And now we can jump back over to Lex as we're going to start creating our bot. So let's go ahead and select Get Started. We're going to select a custom bot and we're going to give our bot a name. We'll give it an output voice and we'll give it a session timeout here of one minute. This is useful because Lex will remember the intent information for up to the session timeout. And lastly, depending on the market that you're serving, you will have to select the compliance here for yes or no if it's child directed. Now we can go ahead and create our bot. The first thing we'll do with our bot is we're going to create a slot type. We're going to give our slot type a name and all a slot type really is is a dictionary of keywords that the user is going to be allowed to use during the conversation. So in this case, we're going to say the items that we can purchase. Uh, we can only purchase a car and a home and we're going to go ahead and give it a description here and then we're going to save the slot type. Next, we're going to create an intent. We'll create a new intent and we'll give it a name. This intent is going to be what the user is going to ask your bot. So we've created our intent and we're going to give it a sample utterance. Now you can add many different utterances, which I'll show you later. And Amazon Lex is going to learn about these utterances and how to use them. Here you can see inside these utterances in curly brackets, we have what's going to be the keyword that the user is going to say. And we're going to map that to the slot type that we created called purchase. And we're going to give the user a prompt if they don't ask any one of those uh, items in the dictionary. So when we add this slot, you can see that the name of this slot will correlate to what is going to be in the utterance above. Now for the fulfillment, we're going to select an Amazon Lambda function that we created earlier, and we're going to give it uh, permissions. And now we can save this intent, and we're going to build our bot. Building a bot sometimes takes a minute or two, so don't be worried if it takes a little bit longer. Now in the bottom right, we can test our bot. So I'm going to tell my bot, I would like to purchase a car. And it's going to respond back with Lex testing. And that was in our Lambda function that we created at the beginning. Now I'll say, I'd like to purchase a home. And it should respond back with Lex testing. Again, it just calls that Lambda function. And now I'll ask if I can purchase a bike. And it says we only accept a car or a home because bike was not in that dictionary. Now let's jump over to our Lambda function and let's change some things up a bit. We're going to add in some different code and we're going to say that if I'm going to purchase a home, the price of the home is going to be $200,000. If I'm going to purchase a car, it's going to be free. And then it's going to let me know that I've purchased a particular item and for what price. So now let's go ahead and rerun these tests. Now if we go back and talk to our bot again, we can say, I would like to purchase a home. And it's going to let me know that I've purchased it for $200,000. Again, this is all static data, but you can imagine this calling an API on your end. And I could say, I'd like to purchase a car. And hey, that car is going to be free. That's pretty awesome. Now let's adjust a couple things here. We want to select the latest uh, version of our intent so we can uh, edit it. And we're going to add some more things into our utterances. Again, as you add more of these in here, Amazon Lex is going to learn and understand these a little bit better so you can ask some things that aren't necessarily what's typed exactly in the utterance. Now let's save this intent and we're going to rebuild our Amazon Lex bot. Now that our bot is built, we can test it again. And so we're gonna ask it some things that aren't necessarily what's in the utterance. 
So we could say buy me a house, and we knew that it wasn't in the dictionary. We could say buy me a home, that's in the utterance, and that should come back properly. But now we're going to say something a little bit different, and we're going to say I want to buy a home. And you could see that it's pretty much recognizing buy a home. Um, and so I was able to purchase a home. Now we'll type something uh, a little bit different. We could say, how do I buy a home? Again, this isn't really what we're trying to do, but you can see how Amazon is learning that buying a home is something that this bot typically does. There are a few other things you can do inside of Amazon Lex. You can take a look here at the settings. You can give things a description, change the voice, change the session timeout, change your compliance. You can give your bot an alias name and you can assign it a version. You can set it to be a Facebook Messenger bot. You can use Twilio SMS, or you can set it up with Slack, which is pretty popular. And you can also look at the monitoring of the bot. So you can see all the different requests coming in and what the latency was of that bot. And lastly, you can publish your bot. Here you're going to give it an alias and then you're going to click publish. And when it's done publishing, you're going to get the connection information that you'll need to connect it to, you know, your Slack or your Facebook Messenger or your Twilio SMS. So that concludes the introduction to Amazon Lex and Lambda. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.